And whilst heads-up displays like Stryker can cost around a half a million dollars, there are consumer tech companies working on similar tech with a little more down-to-earth price tag. In January 2015, Microsoft unveiled HoloLens, an augmented reality headset designed to offer an entirely new interaction platform for its upcoming Windows 10 operating system. HoloLens merges digital content with the physical world using built-in graphics that augment digital items into 3D, making them sit right alongside the real-life 3D world. The system creates those objects using eye-tracking cameras, infrared sensors, and accelerometers to ensure the digital objects move in what the company says is one of the most convincing deployments of augmented reality yet. The thing with HoloLens that's interesting is Microsoft's technology from its research labs in Cambridge and other places where it's about um, it can insert 3D objects into your world as you're looking at it. So it's bridging the context of virtual reality and augmented reality. So in that sense, you could have a situation where you're looking to redesign a room or you're looking to be, and you can then place 3D objects to represent that redesign in your world right now and look around it. So I think that's a very interesting technology. It's also the one that's probably closest to the whole minority report, Tom Cruise. Microsoft has already begun demoing its HoloLens device to developers and the media and says it expects the project to be released in conjunction with its Windows 10 operating system later this year. And Microsoft isn't the only existing tech titan looking to take control of the augmented reality space. Despite weak demand for the company's much-hyped Google Glass, Google has invested some $500 million into an augmented and virtual reality startup called Magic Leap. It's believed Magic Leap might use small projections to directly project 3D imagery into a user's eye, avoiding the need for large-scale visors. Magic Leap released this video of a user interacting with everything from virtual reality games to web services like Gmail. And Google certainly isn't new to the augmented and virtual reality space. In February 2014, the company's Advanced Technologies and Projects division announced Project Tango. Smartphones and tablets with eight cameras and dozens of sensors designed to map the user's environment. The goal is to give mobile devices a human-like understanding of space and motion, a technology that could allow them to visually augment the real world. Unlike Microsoft, both companies are yet to give any announcement about a consumer release date.